Hello, in this video, I want to explain how you can make 2021 the year of no excuses. So my name's Simon Zucci. I'm the author of Property Magic, the Amazon number one property bestseller. I'm the founder of the Property Investors Network with 50 network meetings all over the UK. And I've been investing in property for 25 years. Now I was able to replace my income. I was working at Cadbury's as a graduate trainee then a senior manager from income from property so by 2001, I was able to leave that full-time job. And you know what, I love that job. It's a great company, uh, great uh, products, really nice people. But I just didn't really want to be trading my time for money, especially as I had a number of properties that were generating income for me every single month without much work at all, or if any work actually. So I decided to leave my full-time job. And by 2003, I then completely replaced my income. So it took me eight years to do that. Now I was doing it very much on my own, I was learning the hard way, I was getting some success, but I also made some silly mistakes. I did what I knew at the time, but the problem was I'd never had any training, none of my family ever invested, none of my friends investing, so I was doing it very much on my own. So in 2003, I set up the very first networking in the UK for property investors, and I called it the Property Investors Network. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, from 2003, I've been teaching people and helping people like you to replace their income much, much quicker than I did it. Why? Because we've been giving people a formula to follow. And I've heard every single excuse as to why people think they can't invest. Some of the popular ones are, I don't have any money, I can't find any deals, I live in an expensive area, don't know what's happening to the market. So what I want to do on this session is really try and um, bust some of the myths about property investing. And some of the things I might say, you might challenge, to say, is that really true? Well, I'd encourage you to look at my YouTube channel, go and look at some of the case studies, go and look at some of the, the coaching interviews I've done, because you'll see other people just like you have overcome some of the challenge that you think might be holding you back. And I believe this year, 2021, should be the year of no excuses. Why? Well, look, in 2020, everyone was kind of, taken by surprise by this global pandemic that was COVID-19. No one would have expected that to happen. It caused a lot of people to think, oh my God, what's happening? You know, the property market actually boomed during the, the COVID crisis. And why was that? Well, the government intervened um, and helped prop up the market because the Bank of England had predicted that property prices would fall 16% because of the recession that was caused because of the pandemic. So the Bank of England stepped in, they introduced the stamp duty holiday, which initially was to the end of March 21. They've now extended it for another three months to the end of June um, for 500,000 purchases and purchases up to 250,000 for another three months beyond that to the end of September. So that certainly stimulated the market. Also, the government had the furlough scheme that obviously meant a lot of people who no longer had work because the shops and the bars and the restaurants and the theatres they used to work in were all shut, obviously. Um, they introduced furlough scheme for many people who would otherwise go on to the unemployment line to stop all this mass unemployment. That obviously was extended from... Uh, July originally to October, then to April 2021, and now to September 2021. So that's helped prop up the property market. So despite what's happened, the market's absolutely boomed. Now people say, well, you know, is it really possible to buy when the market's booming? Well, the last real boom we had just before the last crash was in 2007. 2006, 2007, prices were going crazy. Um, anybody could get a mortgage. It was very, very easy to fund your projects, which is maybe one of the reasons reasons we had the global financial crisis, there was irresponsible lending to people, there was certainly irresponsible borrowing from banks and so people had mortgages they shouldn't really have and anybody could borrow. The market was absolutely booming. Despite that, I did some of my very best deals in 2006-2007 when I learned all about finding and helping motivated sellers. So motivated sellers are people for whom the speed and certainty of the sale is more important than the amount of money they get. Now, most sellers are not motivated. Most people, they got a property, they want to sell, they want to get as much as they possibly can for that property. That's probably about 95% of sellers. However, 5% are the people for whom speed is more important or certainty. Imagine someone's sold their property 
and then the sale falls through. And in the UK, about one in three sales fall through. That's the national statistic. One in three sales. So imagine you sell your property and you think everything's fine and a couple of months later, you get the call saying, sorry, it's fallen over for whatever reason, you're back to square one. And imagine that's happened once or even twice, or even three times. That seller's gonna be far more motivated. This, I just wanna find someone who can actually buy my property so I can move on with my life. If you can give that certainty to property investors, then you will get a much better deal. So it's what I talk about in my book, Property Magic. It's all about finding motivated sellers. Now, are we taking advantage of people? Well, there may be some people out there who do that. But my view is if we find someone's got a problem and we can help solve their problem, looking for an ethical win-win where all parties are happy, then not only are you helping that person, they're then likely to give you what you want, which is either a lower price and or flexibility on the terms. So maybe they might do something like uh, a purchase lease option or vendor finance, which are creative ways of funding your deals. And that leads me to the next thing that people say, oh, I don't have any money to invest. Well, look, investing in property generally requires some money. But the point is, it doesn't have to be your money. And you might be thinking, well, okay, well, who else is going to lend me money to invest? Stop thinking about what's in it for you and start thinking about how you can help other people. Just like we want to help those motivated sellers sell their property quickly, there are lots of people who've got money in the bank. And that might be from redundancy, it might be from inheritance, maybe they sold some shares or business, or maybe they sold some of their bitcoins, whatever it might be. They've got cash there that's doing absolutely nothing for them. And you can help those people. As long as you find great deals from motivated sellers, you can then find people who might be able to lend you money to put into those deals and they get a great return. So it's not a case you're going to people with cap in hand begging for money. You go to people and say, well, who would like to get a great return on their money? Now, obviously, you do need to know what you're doing. You've got to be very careful when using other people's money. You can make mistakes when investing in property, which is why education is so important. I learned the hard way through trial and terror, making mistakes myself. But I didn't have the resources that are now open to you. YouTube was not available when I was starting. Investing. In fact, the internet was only just really starting. Um, we didn't have webinars. There weren't property network meetings. There weren't property magazines and property books and podcasts. These things just didn't exist. So we kind of learned the hard way. There is no excuse for not knowing what to do. There's so much free information out there. Now, the problem with free information is that sometimes you're giving something free, you, you might not value it. I've put so much information out on this YouTube channel, on my Property Magic podcast, in my book, and my and our pin meetings. You know, we give so much information away that sometimes people take it for granted and don't value it. I, you know, in my podcast, if you listen to that, for example, if you listen to all of the podcasts, you will know so much more than the average investor. It's just untrue what you could achieve with that knowledge, and it's completely free of charge. So there's no excuse for not knowing what to do. There is, however, the problem of overwhelm. There's so much information out there. Where do you start? What do you do? And I think that's why people invest in themselves and then come on property training courses like the ones we run, that other people run them as well, because they want all the information condensed into an easy to understand format with a clear step-by-step -step action plan of actually what to do. That's what you get when you come and pay for some training. You get all the other stuff cut out. This is what you need to focus on. This is what you need to concentrate on. Now, if you ever do some training, if you do some home study courses, or you're doing some one or two or three day courses, make sure there's always some sort of money back guarantee. You wanna make sure that when you get on the training, are they delivering what they said they would deliver? If it, maybe it's not right for you, you wanna have some sort of way of getting your money back. Now, no one's gonna to say to you, hey, come and do my really great course, and then a year later have your money back. Well, because if you haven't done anything with the knowledge, that's kind of your fault. But certainly when you're on the training, within a certain time period, you should have the ability to get your money back if it's not right for you. That's what we do on our courses. On our, four, on our home study courses, as a 14-day money back guarantee. On our physical and virtual live training events, three-day events up to halfway through you get your money back. And I think that's very fair because it takes the risk away from you. 
And so what I encourage you to do is go and do your research, do your due diligence, listen to lots of free videos, listen to webinars, and when you find someone who's saying stuff you like, if you resonate with them and you know they've got credibility and track record, i.e. they've been able to help lots of other people be successful, why not invest in yourself? Because when you invest in yourself, you become investable. And you might be thinking, well, I don't know what strategy to use. My excuse is 2021, year of no excuse, I don't know what to do. Well, you can learn what to do from someone else. Um, I don't have any money. Well, when you go to events and you can network with other people who also come to those events, there are people who have money. They attend the events because they want to educate themselves. But you know what? They realize it's a bit too much hard work. They don't have the time. And so if you don't have any money, you can put the time and effort in. Someone else can fund the deals and you can work together. Now, you need to get to know people. You need to do good due diligence before you do joint ventures. But everything is possible. It all starts with you believing. You've got to believe that it's possible and you've got to want to be successful. If you're nice and comfortable in your life, well, maybe you're not motivated enough. But get excited about changing your life because that's what you can do. If you invest in yourself, if you take action and you're consistent and you keep going and don't give up, you can completely change your life. I've got so many case studies and videos on this YouTube channel. If you're ever feeling slightly down or wonder if you can do it, come and watch some of those. Type in Property Mastermind into the search box in YouTube and you'll see literally hundreds of videos of people over the last 14 years who've invested in themselves, done our training, and completely changed their life. You can absolutely do it as well. So if you like this video, please like it, please subscribe, please put a comment, and I want you to remember, this is the year of no excuses. We've had a difficult year in 2020. Don't let that hold you back. Many of my students were out there doing great deals when everyone else was saying, oh my God, what's happening? You can't do deals. It's all about your mindset, it's all about your belief. Educate yourself, build your belief. If other people have done what you want to do, it means it's possible. And then you've got to believe in yourself. And one of the first ways you believe in yourself is investing in yourself. Come and back yourself. Because if you want someone to invest in you, someone to lend you money, a joint venture, why would they do that if you haven't invested in yourself first of all? So please subscribe to the channel, watch all my free videos, but when you're ready, come and speak to us and we can help you go to the next level by doing some property training. I believe this is going to be a great year to invest. Let's hope you take action this year. Otherwise, there'll be a whole group of people who thought, I'm not sure what's happening, let's wait. And 2022 will come, they won't have made any progress. Whereas a whole group of people who decided to commit and take necessary action will have great results. This is going to be one of those great years to invest. Don't look back in five years time at 2021 wishing you had done more and taken action. Now is the time to commit. I encourage you to invest with knowledge, invest with skill. I hope you enjoy the next video. I hope you've enjoyed that video. I've set up the next video I think you should watch having just seen this one. Click on the link now to watch that video. And also if you click on the link just below here, you can access our Property Investor Network meetings. Come to your very first meeting as my guest. Normally 20 pounds, but click on the link below, come to your first one just to check it out as my guest at no cost.